All right, this is Henrik for Wednesday's Day, a day dedicated to Mercury. November 8, 2017, this is Henrik. I, I wish to speak to you about about war and peace and about love. I was keep getting back to love because as I progress in this world, it seems to me like most important now. I've tried all else. <laughs> and now I'm going to go over the source of it all. The mother of us all, which is love. In like fact, the world will drop wars only when love, true love, almighty love, the love that created the universe and all within it, and all that was without it before it even created it. When love truly enters into this world again, wars will be dropped, conflict will be eliminated. Our society currently in this civilization, this side of the Great Flood, does not allow love because if a person is really deep, deeply in love with life and with all that is living, that person cannot be manipulated and cowered down. You cannot send that person to war. For that person will say, I am so happy because I, I am love. I feel love. Uh, where would you be sending me? And why should I go and kill strangers who may be happily and lovingly in their homes? And we have no conflict, no clash of interests, do we? Unless what you claim that we have, you who have been setting up the wars for the last 7,000 years. If the young generation moves deeper and deeper into love, wars will disappear, finally. And wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? Because you will not be able to find enough mad people to go to war. Mad because they're damned not having love within them. As you know, if you have love, and I hope you have loved plenty, and will love plenty more, and to ever deeper degrees and higher heights, if you love, indeed, you have tasted something of life, that it is its pure essence, for love gave birth to life. So, therefore, you will not like the idea of death and killing people and destroying rather than constructing and loving and defending people. When you don't love, then you are not tasting something of life. You're just loving death, which is the opposite of life, and love itself. Fear, fear, fear is the one force that kills, that wants to kill, that strives to kill. Fear is destructive. Love is a creative energy to protect us from destruction and death. Love allows us to transcend death. When we love, when you love, when they love, you want to create, you want to sing a song, you want to paint upon a canvas, you want to create poetry, you want to make love to your beautiful beloved. So why would you take a bayonet or an atomic bomb or a flamethrower and go rushing off madly to kill people who are absolutely unknown to you, who are fathers, who are mothers, who are brothers, who are sisters, who are grandparents, who are children, who are baby, and who have done nothing to you personally, who are unknown to you, as unknown to you as you are to them. 
The world, I hope, will soon drop all wars, but only when love, the true love, the source of all life, that gave us our lives, will truly enter into this world again. Politicians, politicians, and those that control them, the hidden, clever ones, don't want you to love. Society does not want you to love. The social family structure of a brave new world does not want you to love. They all want to control you. They want to control your love energy and suck it right out of you like vampires. Because that's the only energy there is, is a love energy. And that's why they create fear. So you relinquish your innate and intrinsic love. If you understand me, well, if you are a true brother, or a true sister of mine, and I am nothing but you, the brightest part of you, because I exist really not. So if you understand me well enough, then drop all fears from now on and adopt love more and more at each instant, each day and each night anew, and love unconditionally, love truthfully, love purely, love deeply, love mightily, love fiercely, love creatively, and love perfectly. And don't think that you are doing something for the other when you love. You are doing something for yourself and for the sake of love, which should encompass your entire self. Yourself should be equal to your love. And when you love, it is beneficial to you. It is healing. It is elevating. It is generative of creativity. And it brings you into the bosom of the God of life and the uber God of love. So when you love, it is beneficial to you and to all others. And when you love, your presence makes this universe all the more precious and beautiful since it makes it all the more loving. So don't wait, my friend. Don't say that when others love, and while others love, well then you will love as them. But that's not the point I wish to make at all. You have to be self-centered and respect yourself and therefore love yourself. Some call it selfish, then let it be the way you are. Be selfish, not greedy, but centering the love on yourself. Love is selfish in a way. It is also altruistic. You can love people and you will be fulfilled through loving people. You will be getting more and more blessedness through it, but only because you love yourself first can you love others. And when love goes deeper and deeper into the fabric of life, fear disappears. Love. Yes, love, my friends, love. Love is a light. Love is the light of our lives. Fear is nothing but darkness. Therefore, live on loving and realize one thing. Love has authority over fear as you have authority over the devil. The architect of this universe and the source of your life. 
I've given you this authority. Love is the answer. Love is all for you. And you all for love. Right? I know. 